I'm in Philadelphia for the night and I need a hotel. But what did I do? Stay tuned. Greetings, I'm Sean, and I create videos to help you walk with confidence, explore new places, and live life without regrets. If you're new here, consider subscribing. This is the Pod Hotel, and I'll tell you, I was looking for a hotel for just one night. I didn't want to pay an exorbitant amount for the room. What did I do? I went on Hotel Tonight which lists an inventory of rooms in any city. You put in the city that you want, but rooms uh, that are left over, they put on this site at a discount rate. I got this room for total, it was $111. And that's not bad, last minute, it's in a safe neighborhood, it's clean, it's modern, it's fresh. Uh, and uh, I expected to pay that amount in Philadelphia. Typically, it's more, but I felt that was a good price last minute, and you can do that in various cities. There are other options you have as well. So you can do hotels.com, but when I went on hotels.com, they didn't have the inventory of this room anymore. I guess there's it sold out. So different apps, have different um, rooms available in different prices because Hotels.com had a higher price where Hotel Tonight app had a lower price. It worked out great for me for the evening and uh, I'm happy and that's what matters. State of the art, keypad, security, nice floors i wanted a hotel with no carpet and the pod doesn't have carpet which is great it's located in center city in the heart of the city nice and cozy and set this right here we have here's the sliding and when I travel solo I don't need much Good. here's the shower you got this is nice this is the pod in Philadelphia on 19th Street. And you have, I have towels here. And there's the shower. And this is all I need. It's clean, it smells fresh. It smells like a spa, actually. When you step into the hotel, it smells like a spa, which I love. Setting the mood, the ambiance is everything. Uh, it's around uh, restaurants in the center. 
And here's my view. I'm on the 10th floor, as you saw. And I have a great view, just a nice view. There's the Blue Cross, Blue Shield building. I have a seating area right here with the table. And when I travel just for a day trip, I pack everything in my packing queue. My e-bags packing queue. Got everything I need in here. And I wanted to also show you all, here's another bag that is great uh, for overnight travel. And it's been all around the world for, with me is my long short. I think it's the Love Viage bag and it's great. And it fold, the great thing about this bag is it folds up. There's the buttons at the bottom, but it folds. When I take everything out of this, I can fold it up and put it in another bag. It's fresh, clean. I feel uh, safe uh, as a solo traveler and uh, I'm comfortable and I like it. And it's bigger than European hotels. <laughs> and the guys say, I think you'll be surprised when you see it. And I am. I thought it was smaller than this, actually. Here's the closet space. Anything? No, can't open this. And we're good. We have a safe right here, a drawer, pen pad. It's perfect. More light if I need a light. More light. Like me, I like light. Ladies, when you're traveling solo, I know sometimes you come in, we're tired, be sure to put your locks on. Always put your dead bolts on and uh, your safety precautions. And you can travel with a door stopper that you can put right here as a deterrent. And it also uh, lets you know if uh, anyone is trying to get in, you'll be able to hear that. And it forces resistance with a door stopper. That's uh, another safety measure I typically use. And there's another drawer over here under on this seating. You have uh, a pull-up drawer if you needed it here. So this has enough space. This is a nice view. I'm on the 10th floor. I'm always looking for ways to save money when I travel. If you have any advice, any resources, leave it in the comments below. And be sure to share this video, subscribe, like, thumbs up. And if you like me with uh, two phones, chargers, and equipment, electronics, watches, and things that need charging, you may want to travel with a surge protector. I just noticed the room doesn't have a refrigerator, but that's not one of my requirements. I need a comfortable, safe, uh, convenient room. And with lighting, lighting is important to me. I don't like a dim, dark hotel room, but uh, a refrigerator, I'm good without it. I'll check in in the morning with you to let you know how I slept, the comfortability of the bed, the water pressure of the shower, the heat. It's an experience. When I pay my money at a hotel, I want an experience. And I'll let you know my experience here at the pod. Stay tuned. The verdict. How is my night at the pod, Philly? And this is not sponsored. This is me sharing information to help you along your travels, your journey, and giving you the real deal from my experience. My night at the pod, awesome. It was a great experience. My night's sleep on the bed was comfortable. It's a firm a mattress is not firm where it hurts your back, but it's not the plush, plush, plush sink in the middle. Um, it was very comfortable. The um, shower pressure was perfect. Uh, no problems in the shower with the water and the room temperature. I set it to uh, a certain temperature and it stayed there at auto on and auto off. I wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't have to get up and switch the temperature. The insulation is good because I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear my neighbors. I didn't hear anyone moving and walking through the hallway. And you do hear sirens. It is a city like DC. 
but um, that wasn't throughout the night. Uh, overall, would I recommend this hotel pod Philly? Absolutely. I travel to Philly over the decade uh, very often, and I've stayed at numerous hotels in Philly. And how does this one compare? Top of the list. I would highly recommend it for the value, the comfortability, the friendly staff, the cleanliness, uh, the modernization of it, and the resources around. It's convenient. And again, I felt safe, which is very important. And again, I wanted a hotel with no carpet. No carpet. They don't have any carpet. Perfect for me. Highly recommend the Pie of Philly. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, but top of my list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, and share this video. As a bonus, I'm sharing with you the Macy's Christmas Light Show. It's gorgeous. Watch.